Hello. Hi. <laughs> so I thought today that I would film a Q&A about my faith video because I said I was gonna do this a while ago and then I decided to do a bunch of other videos. Izzy sitting over there staring you at me. You wanted me out here. Yeah, I know. I wanted to take a nap. Anyways, a lot of you know that I'm really big into my faith as well as being gay, obviously. I've got a lot of DMs and questions about how I'm so strong in my faith while also being part of the LGBTQ community. So I thought maybe a video like this would clear some of that up. And I'm not trying to force my faith down your throat. If you don't want to be a Christian, if you don't want to believe in God, if you don't want to do any of this, you totally don't have to. I'm just giving my opinion and how I feel. But I wrote my questions that I got down in my little bullet journal and I'm gonna read them. How does God impact the current relationship you're in? God is the center of me and Izzy's relationship. That's a very big part of our relationship. It didn't start out like that at all. We both recently got really into our faith. We watch, there's a car. Izzy and I watch a sermon every night and we do Bible study and we're, once church is open back up, we're gonna go to church. We watch church every Sunday. There's obviously some stuff in the Bible that we don't necessarily agree with. We still make God the center of our relationship. Describe your relationship with God in three words. I would describe our relationship as honest, loving and understanding how do i believe in god when many things happen to good people so god likes to test you in certain situations to prepare you for what's to come basically you can still be worried you can have reservations but you don't ever have to be nervous because what god is preparing for you you're gonna love and he's preparing you for something bigger. Tips for trying to prioritize faith more. Well, we just find time in our day, whatever it may be. I say make a routine, like make a designated spot in your day for praise or for worship or for watching a sermon. That's what we do at the end of our days. Connect it to something you already do. So like say after you brush your teeth, you go say a quick prayer. So that way you're Worship is connected to something you already do, so it'll be easier for you to remember and easy for you to do. What are some beliefs in the church that you don't stand for personally? Well, obviously, there's the whole Christian church doesn't support LGBTQ. We live through the New Testament, because the Old Testament was before Jesus died on the cross for our sins. The New Testament is sculpted more for today's society, and there's no mention in the New Testament about homophobia or and then I don't support pro-life I'm very pro-choice that's another thing that I don't necessarily agree with in the Bible favorite Bible verse and why this isn't necessarily my favorite verse it's just the time in my life when I found it which makes it my favorite verse it's buddy said to me my grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in weakness 2 Corinthians 12 9 the point in my life where I found that made that my favorite scripture it's a long story but it just means a lot to me how long have you been walking with God for I went to a Catholic school for seven years we would go to church every Sunday Wednesday and Friday and that was when I was very Catholic and Catholic is very old-timey and old-fashioned if you will so I went to Catholic school and we had like religion class and everything but then I kind of lost my faith for a little bit after I went to public school and everything so I recently just got more in touch with God I would say a couple months ago how can I regain slash start a new relationship with God? He's always ready for you to come back. I know that God was ready for me to come back to him and he was very accepting when I wanted to come back to him because there's no time limit on how much time you can spend away from him before you're allowed to come back. You can always come back no matter how long it's been since you praised him last. I suggest talking to a pastor just to like make a plan that's right for you or just get your mind at ease at the fact that God's always welcoming you no matter how long you've been gone for. And all you have to do is talk to him. Like he's always there listening to you. You just have to spark up conversation. What to do when you start to stray from God? All you have to do is get back into it. Cause like I said, I strayed from God and all I had to do was speak to him again. I felt his presence in my life again. And it's not the fact that I didn't feel him when I wasn't involved in my Christ as I am now. It's the fact that my eyes weren't open to see what he was doing in my life. What are your favorite worship songs? I'll link my worship playlist down below. I love Follow You Anywhere. I like Graves into Gardens, Love Has a Name, and My Testimony. How did you find the drive to want to get involved with God? I've heard this a lot, is faith grows in your hard times. The past couple months have been hard for my mental. Wanted to go back to him again is because your faith grows when you're having a hard time and you 
want to be able to talk to someone and God's always there to listen to you. Do you try to keep your faith in your relationship? Always. God is the center of our relationship. Always. Right? Correct. How do I start learning about the Bible? There's always sermons that have like a Bible verse connected to them. So that's how you could learn some of it. And there's also like summaries online of the book in the Bible you're about to read. So it can be easily understandable to you because I will admit it, the Bible is kind of hard to understand. It has big words, has words I can't pronounce, words I've never heard of before. So I suggest looking up summaries so you know what you're about to read, so you know what to look for. How to keep a good faith when everything seems to be going wrong. It's easy to, it's easy in dark situations to blame God and to be like, why are you doing this to me? Why did I deserve this? Just asking him like, why would you do this to me? And instead, I think it's important to thank him for what you do have and thank you, thank him for what he has done in your life rather than focus on what you're going through right now rather than focusing on the bad focus on the good thing that he's done in your life have you always been close with god no no i haven't i lost my faith for a minute and then i jumped right back in because he's always ready for you how do you balance being gay and religious it's not hard believe in my heart that god accepts me as i come it's not hard to balance being gay with being strong in my faith they don't interfere with each other at all it's not the fact of, oh, I'm gay, so I can't praise God. Oh, I'm gay, God doesn't love me. God loves you no matter what you've done, no matter what sins you've committed. Do you ever talk to him like a friend? Yes, that's the best way you can talk to him. Don't talk to him like only when you need something. Don't be like, God, please give me a Ferrari and a million dollars. Okay, amen, goodbye. You can just talk to him like you're talking to your best friend. That's what I do. I don't just ask him for things. I thank him for things. I talk to him like he's my friend. I feel like I lost him and don't know how to find the motivation to try again. You could never lose him because he's always there. He's just at times stronger than the others and more prominent in your life. It's your decision how strong he is in your life. All you have to do is take small steps in the right direction, as in watching a sermon, praying to him, start praying again, start going to church. Like, it's not hard to get back into it. You just have to have the faith and the patience. A lot of people only think that, say, you're listening to a sermon and if it speaks to you, you get chills. Don't pick and choose what you want to hear from what God's saying to you. You have to see the good and you have to see the bad. You have to hear everything he's saying rather than only the good things, if that makes sense. And then also, as and I read this book at night, it's called Live in Grace, Walk in Love. I'll link it down below, but they're just small devotionals for every day. They have a little question at the end and that's an easy way to apply God into your normal life. He like kind of fits it into your life easier to understand so we do that every night but that's all i have and i'm sorry if there were loud noises in this video i'm outside i don't know why there's no good lighting in this house if you have video ideas please let me know because i am at a roadblock i hope you enjoyed comment some nice things i don't know comment something get distracted easily i'm looking at the birds don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll talk to you next week